Drop caps is a feature that's sometimes used in novels to emphasise the first letter of a chapter. A substitute for this has recently been added as an option in Scrivener 3 for Windows for eBooks. So today we're going to see how it works. This is not as easy as it at first might seem. It's not just a case of clicking on the first letter span box in the new page section of Compile on the section layout you want to use. How to actually use it took me quite a while to work out and I'm really not sure if this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. Something to note before you start, make sure you've applied your section layouts correctly and you do not use the same section layout for your front matter, for example, as you do your main text. Otherwise that too will have a larger letter. Also, you will need to create a different section type and section layout to make this work, but I'll get to that later when I show you why. So first off, you have to create a style in your manuscript called First Letter. I tried this making the letter bigger and leaving it the same size. It doesn't seem to make a difference to the final result. This video shows the time when I made the letter bigger. So highlight the letter, then go into Styles and Show Styles panel, and click on the plus sign. Create a style with the title First Letter, and select Character Style, and save it. It doesn't have to be applied in the text, so I removed it. Now go to Compile. For this, as with any other format change, you need to duplicate and edit the format and save it under a different name, or use your already customised format. Next, go to Styles in the list. Click on the plus and add the first letter style. Then, in the Section Layouts panel, find the text layout you're using. Go to the New Page tab. Click off the capitalised words to subsequent paragraphs and remove the words to capitalise count. This will enable the first letter span option. Click on this. Now, if you've done everything correctly, when you generate your ebook, you should get something that looks like this. It's just a larger letter that gives the feel of a drop cap, perhaps, but isn't actually one. But it's not perfect. It leaves a slightly larger line space between the first line and subsequent lines in all formats. But here's the problem with just using one text format. It puts it on all the scenes. So you need to split out your first paragraphs and your subsequent paragraphs. That means in your manuscript you'll need to create a new section type for your first paragraphs and assign that to them. So click on the list Edit, plus, and add your section type. You can select all the first paragraphs with control and click, and right click to select this new section type. Then back to compile, where you'll need to create a new section layout by clicking on the text style you're using, the plus, giving it a name, and making the necessary changes so that you have one layout with first letter span and one without. Finally, go into Assign Section Layouts and apply your new section layout to your new section type. Then it'll work properly. However, I still have the problem of the first paragraphs being indented, and I definitely have the first paragraph not indented setting selected. Obviously, if you want true drop caps, or the other unspecified visual effects mentioned in the manual, you'll need to use CSS, presumably outside of Scrivener. But if you know how to do that, you'll probably have done it already, without needing this video. Next time I'll be talking about separators, or dividers, at scene or section breaks.